Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement and having. My day usually begins with a little bit of a walk to get my body moving. I have been sleeping slightly better lately, but not by much. And the reason is because there is a monstrous group of people that are violating federal law and sexually assaulting my face and parts of my body I'd rather not discuss. When I wake up hurting in certain parts, I'm very concerned because I've never had that type of sensitivity or that type of pain, and it is in inappropriate places. When I tell stories of living in a hood of a marvelously small collegiate town, I question whether or not the municipality knows anything about their companies at all. The thing I learned when I came originally to this city, thinking about restarting a business, developing a network, and doing things similarly to what I'd done in the past that worked, was that people were unreceptive to anyone new. They really didn't understand what life was for, it seemed to me, because they weren't concerned about either me or you. Most companies were about themselves only. And what I saw in small business development was immature, collegiate, unbound women trying to be business development managers. Even when I lived in a marvelous, tiny little, don't sneeze or you'll miss it, town called Austin, I recognized that we had a business development manager who was mighty fine, and I'm telling you, mighty fine, as a woman, fully married, thankfully, otherwise my boss would have kept hitting on her. And she might have done that to keep the business, but she came over from a separate town, which name I don't remember, to talk to that amazing, a major manufacturing organization where I work. I don't have to tell all the stories of my life experiences. I don't have to list everything I've done in my life on my resume. Everyone in job hunting work knows that every little thing on a resume becomes a vitae, and I don't pronounce that very well, a curriculum vitae instead of a resume. Then your resumes become three some pages and most HR directors don't want to see that because they don't have the right to know how old you are. Today we do have marvelous social networks that sort of show that, but something we absolutely know is that a person who leaves a photo online that is more than five or ten years old is a marvelous and magnificent liar. On the one hand, they're trying to be online, but on the other hand, they're not allowing people to see who they are factually so that they're not shocked when they call them to meet them and greet them. I do have a few old photos online for me as proof to the people that are witnessing and observing the people that are abusing my rights and my life. That is my lawful right to do that. I have the right in American society to be safe from predators, financial abusers, molesters, rapists, alcoholics, and drug addicts that think it's a good old time after they've gone out for a marvelous couple's dinner to roll up on me and act like we are best buddies and hug all over me, which makes me uncomfortable. I don't mind a little loving kindness. I always try to repay back in kind. If you gave me a little extra food, then I might give you some of mine. If you gave me a couple bucks because I couldn't afford something, I will try to give you something back of value. But what I know is you are representing your corporation when you do your job. And if you choose to upgrade my food, that is on your responsibilities, your company's rules, your vending privileges, not mine.